In fact, um, even though the tech stocks all the way down, you know, Facebook and Apple, et cetera, they're all down. Uh, I believe that AMD, our superstar, sort of like Tariq Hill at wide receiver for the Chiefs, uh, are positioned to continue. I think AI, which is a big part of these microprocessors and their development over the next five years, the implementation of AI, uh, are going to be 50% per year uh, upside. So. It may be tough for the overall market, but I think we're in a great position. Right. Goldman has been a pretty tough pick. I mean, theoretically, yeah. when, you, when you picked it, it seemed like things should be good for the banks in 2018. Mm -hmm. The fundamentals didn't really change, but the bank stocks didn't really respond. Um, so if mm -hmm. you had your druthers, Nick, would you cut that loose or you still believe in Goldman? I still believe in Goldman. I think that you're going to see some uh, upside over the next month uh, because liquidity is still there. The interest rates are up. And when we have a downturn in the market, uh, you turn to the gold standard, which is Goldman Sachs. Nick, when you're looking for 2019, who, you know, who's your Patrick Mahomes? Well, I, I'm absolutely AMD. I still feel, feel very positive about them. And then Amazon, uh, still no market cap that you can define. Uh, again, part of the tech downturn, but I think you see a 40% upturn in Amazon over the next year or two as well. Uh, they are, as I said uh, a few months ago, they're able to cannibalize and, and redefine the marketplace with uh, great customer service with how quickly they get products there. So, and AI is a part of that as well because they have to manage hundreds and hundreds of real-time assets. Uh, so I wouldn't really change anything at this point. And as you can see, with all due respect to our good friend, Mr. Wonderful, who's down 29%, or Bethany, who's down 27, or my incredible friend, Eric, uh, Eric Dickerson with uh, the Rams, uh, who's down 25%, I think we're in good in good position. And we're, sh we're showing um, these guys, your, your good friends, <laughs> as well as Mr. Wonderful and what their portfolios are. I mean, Eric Dickerson really had a very directional, very concentrated bet on oil. And as for Mr. Wonderful, I mean, Kevin O'Leary's in, in sixth, sixth place. Um, did yes. you really go into this really just wanting to beat Kevin? <laughs> you know, uh, I love the process with my friend uh, Tobin Smith, formerly with Fox. Uh, and uh, Wolfgang Kester with Fire Apps. Uh, these guys look at, at risk management and cur currency exchange and cryptocurrency. That can affect your profits 12% per quarter. So we uh, looked at these stocks, and I just believe each of them is more sophisticated, or at least better than average in terms of risk management uh, with the volatil volatility of the markets. So uh, I've enjoyed that. And, and of course, a side part of it is watching Mr. Wonderful, who is sitting right in front of me. Um, not do quite so well this year. <laughs> the shade, well, it's not over yet, uh, Nick.